Um, I'm Akita and I'm going to be talking about unplugging from technology. Technology, the de definition is the application of science to industrial or commercial objects, according to the American Heritage College Dictionary. And the thing is, technology is everywhere. You can have it in your toaster, or maybe an oven, or maybe even the washing machine. And it also has its good and bad effects. For um, Nora Volk, Volk, Volkow, in um, a New York Times article said technology is rewiring our brains. And is it good or bad? Some effects of technology, technology affects things like early language and numerical abilities, memory intake of information, multitasking, focusing attention, and of course human interaction. Early language and numerical abilities. Some um, studies have shown that Sesame Street um, actually improves your um, a child's um, language skills, whereas things such as Teletubbies do not, and many of you can guess why. <laughs> and then there's also another um, theory that computers are somewhat better than TVs, and because when watching TVs you just sit, sit there and just w and watch, whereas in a computer you actually um, interact. And but um, studies show that even when watching TV or on computers, when it starts at an early age, it takes you away from human interaction, and you um, miss out on early um, lessons that you can learn otherwise. Memory and intake of information. <coughs> Some games actually help increase um, um, memory span and and with. Um, with uh, attention and other things like that, such as, um, like we heard earlier, there are some games help um, with better hand-eye coordination. And such as visual aids, nowadays people are changing so that they, the way they take information, they usually want more visual aids than they can actually listen. And that was the point, multitasking. Sometimes, uh, Dr. Grace Small said tech users may increase their hand-eye coordination, peripheral vision, and reaction time. So technology actually does help multi with multitasking. And, but my ritual in another New York Times um, article wrote that heavy multitasking can actually have more trouble focusing, have more trouble focusing and shutting out relevant information. And it's true because we see that nowadays when we multitask on a laptop or a computer, we usually, if um, such as on um, our co school computers, we have this little button on the side, we have our Outlook open saying when our emails come, if we're doing homework, we usually see that and we can click on it and it distracts us. So sometimes multitasking is also distractful. And so there are good and bad effects. Focusing and attention. Um, and Games can help our attention, and like I said earlier, and there are some. Uh, uh, NASA, for instance, wants to consider using some games to treat attentional problems in children. Internet can, but sadly, also other things can reduce um, attention span, such as internet. When having different windows, you usually switch back and forth, and you get distracted, and so it. The, the attention span is reduced. Human interaction. Humans can, of course, interact with people over the computer. They have chats and um, other things like that. And, of course, they're also really helpful, such as um, computers and uh, phones can shrink distances between people. And, but also, you get trapped in a virtual world where you are um, in solitude, even though solitude sometimes is good, you're alone and you don't really you don't really um, interact with others. And um, Paul Corey Thompson wrote, has the internet introduced us, seduced us into thinking that we can, we can in fact live in a world without other flesh and blood people. We can just deal with screen people. 
And there are withdrawals from technology, such as um, if some people get a little too attached. In um, Susan Moeller, a journalism teacher, did a study with her students at her um, college and um, learned that um, things like they had withdrawal um, and they had cravings and without their um, gadgets and technology. And so the, those are the physical responses. You get addicted and sometimes you just can't stay away from them and if you, even if you're just like walking, sometimes you can see people that are right next to each other that are just talking, with, uh, but then like when you take them away, they kind of just sit there and don't really talk to each other, uh, except without their phones. And conclusion, technology is good and has its uses, but there are also the bad effects. And so we should unplug more from technology because human interaction is actually really good and 